it's funny, I, I was keynoting uh, a conference next to where the American Idol <laughs> finals were uh, two weeks ago in LA, and none of us <laughs> at the conference knew why all these people were lined up, but we found out later there were two guys named Dave. I haven't, I know, I, apparently they're good singers, but um, I guess sort of two things. I don't really live in America. I've been, I've been going around the world every three weeks for the past three years, and I spend most of my time in in Taiwan or Shanghai, so that's different still. And I guess the one question I'm really tired of hearing in the U.S. is, why don't you do something in getting the laptops to kids in the U.S.? And, and um, sure, we could get laptops to the kids in the U.S., but we decided to work on a bigger problem. We're throwing away half the children in the world right now. And yes, a portion of them are in the U.S., but the U.S. has a different problem. These children are really hungry. They want to learn. They want to go to school. They want, they want all this stuff. And so why not take, take our skills and, and apply it to this problem because it actually is somewhat solvable. But as far as culture, I recently got a TV. I don't actually have a TV. I've got a projector that I designed, and it's on a wall and because it comes with Internet. So I'm trying to sort of see some of, some of what's what's on, but um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think that it is moving. People are moving to participate in the culture more through, through their, their laptops and desktops than through TV. And I mean, TV's great, I guess, but um, I, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. I'm participating in something called the World Science Festival here in New York. And I was listening to a little NPR piece on it yesterday, sort of practicing. And they were talking about how in, in some cities in Europe, they have science night at bars where professors at the local university go down to the bars, drink, and talk about science. And I think, wow, that could be pretty cool if we could do that. But we can't do that because we've got such this ingrained TV culture rather than getting people out, going down to the pub, and talking about you know cosmology or something, which would be so much more interesting and I wonder how we move I mean I think the people that create the content in TV would love that and how do you create that in this mass distributed um, medium because most people in by far I mean the average number of hours a TV set is on in the US is I used to make TVs you know, it was nine hours it went up a half an hour after 9-11 and you know that they want everybody wants better better content it's just how do how do we do it how do we make cosmology discussions engaging for for people i think it's a it's a collective problem mm -hmm.